Hi, this is Wes Bleed. Thanks for joining me. If you've done any public speaking in your life, you have likely dealt with something that you might call the speaker's resistance. Now, in general, the problem is resistance, as we have heard from Stephen Pressfield and folks like Seth Godin, who talked about the lizard brain. But the term resistance is used to describe the voice in our head that tells us to stop doing whatever it is we're about to attempt. It doesn't matter if you're a speaker, writer, artist, or really anybody who's trying to communicate some new ideas. We all experience it. The problem is that you face resistance as you work to do the very thing that you believe is a good idea. In other words, you are battling those voices inside your head who are telling you to stop. Don't do it. Put it off. Who are you? You've got to be kidding. Now, much has been made of resistance or whatever term that you want to use to describe the feeling of, well, self-doubt that makes you feel not only that you cannot produce a new work, that you should not produce it. It's crazy. We end up being our own worst enemy. Now, some of it is no doubt a fight or flight response. We are threatened by the idea of trying to create something new, and we instinctively try to battle the impulse or run away. But along with that, we are always considering the impact that we have out in the public square. Doubts about what others will think. Doubts about who may not like us. Doubts about who will... uh, think that we're actually horrible at what we do. So we tell ourselves to hold off. Don't write that song, that book. Don't even think about writing that blog post. And by all means, don't get up in front of others and speak. And so we have to battle the resistance. So how do we do it? Well, first, recognize what it is. It is the voice in your head. It's fictional. It's made up. Second, break down the arguments. Dismantle those myths that you're telling yourself. Remind yourself instead of all of the good reasons that you have to speak or write or whatever it is. Third, put your calling first. Remember that you have something of value and that if you don't contribute, others will miss out on what you have to say. If everybody else did that, where would we be? Fourth, remember the words of Emerson who said, Do the thing you fear, and the death of fear is certain. In other words, do it anyway. Courage is not the absence of fear, it's acting in spite of the fear, which in many cases, as we have talked about now, is a product of our own imagination. Well, I hope this has been helpful. And if it has, leave a comment or pass along a link and check out other resources at my website, westbleed.com. Do the thing you fear. And the death of fear is certain. Thanks for watching.